Our top story this hour, the United States has blacklisted Yemen's Ansarullah movement as a foreign terrorist organization. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the designation will take effect on January the 19th. In his statement, Pompeo has accused Yemen's Houthis of terrorist acts. He says the group has threatened civilian populations and the commercial shipping with cross-border attacks. The top U.S. diplomat says the group continues to destabilize the region and obstruct a peaceful solution to the conflict in Yemen. The Houthis took control of the capital Sana'a and much of Yemen's north in 2014 after the then government re uh, resigned. A year later, Saudi Arabia and some of its allies launched an air campaign to push the movement out of power. Saudi-led aggression has left tens of thousands of civilians dead. Let's discuss this, uh, this issue a little bit further with Mr. Tim Anderson. He's the director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, who joins us via Skype out of Sydney, Australia. Mr. Anderson, it's good to have you with us. Your understanding on the issue, please, you know, given the fact that, you know, groups like this, are, it's not as if that they were not sanctioned from before. Some people may argue that what they have done, what the U.S. has actually done, is could only be ceremonial. the genocidal blockade on Yemen and the war um, driven by the United States through their main ally, Saudi Arabia, has created the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. And this um, little bit of doublespeak trying to say that the Ansarallah led coalition, which has been effectively the government of Yemen for the last five years at least, um, <coughs> trying to turn it around and say that they are somehow a threat to other people. They have been defending their own country, and yes, they've retaliated against the Saudis. But to call it terrorist is really to turn the meaning of the word upside down. I think we're getting used to that with the way the U.S. views the world, particularly as they're coming to um, designate entire states like the IRGC in Iran or Cuba or Venezuela or, or now Yemen uh, as terrorists. And it means they can justify any form of aggression against those countries. So the U.S. is the master of this trying to turn language on its head. Well, Ansarullah is, uh, actually has been resisting, but the question is, uh, do you think that this act will, in, or, or if it does, in what way do you think it hinders the, um, uh, the performance and the operations by Ansarullah, or d does it really? Not in relation to the Yemeni government, the, the coalition led by Ansarullah. What it may do, and this is the evil, really, of what they're stating in, in the dying days of the Trump regime, is to try and deter other people from uh, trading or breaking the blockade or sending food or medical supplies or intimidate others, in other words, from dealing with Sana'a mm -hmm. and dealing with the affected government of Yemen. And that's going to worsen, as I said, this genocidal blockade that has been that has caused the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. Mm -hmm. Pompeo is saying we're going to worsen that crisis and punish the Yemeni people for resisting. Well, um, because you spoke about the lame duck state that uh, the Trump administration basically has right now, you know, apart from making it perhaps difficult for the for the incoming administration to uh, to 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 have to follow the Trump policies at least for a while. Are you hopeful or do you think that this would be perhaps one of the first acts or an important act by the incoming U.S. president to, to undo? Well, it is an opportunity for the Biden administration to show that it's different to the Trump administration. But we also know that in many respects, the Trump administration carried on the Obama Biden mm -hmm. administration of dirty wars across the region, including in Yemen. This began before the Trump administration came around. So nevertheless, um, you know, out with the old, in with the new, it's an, it's an opportunity for the Biden administration to demonstrate if it has some other uh, option, if it has, if it's able to show any form of goodwill, there is an opportunity there. All right. Many, many thanks, Mr. Tim Anderson, director for Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies out of Sydney, Australia. I really appreciate your time, sir.